Hey, yo, folks, I've gotten a few questions dealing with uh, complex numbers, conjugates, and operations with complex numbers. So I just wanted to do uh, a video that focused on doing uh, operations with complex numbers. I have written here two complex numbers, W and Z. They have a real component and a complex component. The first one is 2 plus i, and the second one is 5 minus i. Um, with complex numbers, adding of complex numbers is fairly straightforward. To add two complex numbers, W plus Z, you just add the two components. So you add the real component plus I minus I, and then you add the coefficients on there. Now, I minus I is going to be 0. This is just going to be 7. Likewise, if we wanted to subtract, that's going to look like this, 2 plus i minus 5 minus i. Don't forget to distribute the minus sign. This is plus negative 1 times this. So this becomes 2 plus i minus 5 plus i. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. I plus I is plus 2, sorry, 2I. Two okay, so adding and subtracting, fairly straightforward. Multiplying is a little more complicated. W times Z, WZ is 2 plus I times 5 minus I. And here we're going to use our old, it's basically the distributive property, um, but we're going to do the shortcut using FOIL, so we'll do 2 times 7 is 10. 2 times negative 1 is minus 2i. 5 times positive 1i is plus 5i. And then i times negative i is minus i squared. Now, when we're simplifying this and combining like terms, we have to recognize that i squared is negative 1. Okay, so that's that's the key thing. So here, this is 10. I can combine these, plus 3i, minus negative 1, which is plus 1. So this ends up being 11 plus 3i. Okay, division's the hardest, and uh, that's the one that most folks tend to struggle with. Um, 2 plus 5, sorry, my mistake. W divided by Z, which is 2 plus I divided by 5 minus I. Dividing complex numbers, uh, to write the result of this, it's just another complex number, but to write it in the standard form, A plus BI, uh, we need to remove the complex number from the denominator down here. So we're going to use a thing called the conjugate. So in this case, we need z conjugate. That's what my denominator is 5 minus i. So the conjugate of z, you keep the real part the same. And then you write the imaginary part as its opposite. And so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by a fancy version of 1. All right, we're going to multiply by z conjugate over z conjugate. Multiplying fractions, you multiply numerators, multiply denominators. And remember, the fraction bar is a grouping symbol. It's like having parentheses around what's here and here. So to make this in standard form, we write 2 plus i in parentheses here. And now I'm going to write z conjugate here, 5 plus i. And in the bottom, again, 5 minus i times 5 plus i. All right, so up top, we have to FOIL that out. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2, 2i, that's a 2, plus 5i, plus i squared, that's what's up top. Now, at the bottom, you can FOIL this out, but because this is a difference of squares from complex conjugates, what you end up with is a sum of squares. It's, it'll end up with... The second term will be minus i squared, which will be plus i. So when you're doing complex conjugates, you should just go straight to 5 squared plus 1 squared. Okay. So I'm going to simplify a little bit here. 
this is going to be minus 1. 10 minus 1 is 9 plus 7i over 26. And then to write it in the form a plus bi, it's going to be 9 over 26 plus 7 over 26i.